Hello again and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and you're watching Sculpt January. We're on day number 27 and the topic was delicate. So you can see I've done this delicate field or harvest mouse just here. It came out quite well, but um, I had problems with the render. I had problems with Eevee again. Um, the depth of field, because um, obviously it's a really small object, so I wanted the depth of field to work. Um, but it made the render times about 30 seconds a frame. And I managed to get it down to eight, but it didn't have a good depth of field and uh, it didn't quite work out. Um, but uh, it looks okay, uh, just a, a tiny bit of frustrations as per usual with these things, especially when you're trying to rush and using uh, something like 2.8, which is in beta still. Okay, so we've got, um, I'm using the, uh, um, what do you call it, the radial sculpt tool uh, for uh, the mushroom. Uh, which I, well, or is it a toadstool? It's a to toadstool, really, isn't it? Toadstool, sorry. Um, and uh, that's, uh, it, there's a tutorial on that, and I'm quite enjoying that approach because it's quite quick. Some people have said, well, why aren't you using the um, spin tool and the, um, I can't remember what they're called now, and uh, array tools and things, but I just find it easier to uh, get my blob out and uh, pull it around in the radial, t radial tool, and I find it quite quick easy and um, I have that sort of sculpting approach where I like to adjust things by sculpting so I do actually find it quicker and easier to do it that way. Uh, so the mouse was kind of um, awkward. <laughs> For some reason I must have shifted something somewhere at one point and my symmetry, I lost my symmetry. So um, I kept, uh, when I went to the detailed bits um, I had to um, annoyingly uh, do both sides and I could have speeded up my workflow. Um, I suppose what I s should have done looking back suddenly thinking now I should have uh, just adjusted it slightly and then symmetrized and then um, it gone back in. I, it's funny when you're in the mid middle of these things and you're rushing around you're thinking oh no I've just got to get on with it uh, and then looking back and this is quite this is why this process is quite good for me it sort of helps me to analyze what I've done and what I've done wrong um, I should have just symmetrized again uh, and then I'd been okay. So uh, <laughs> just suddenly popped into my head, why on earth did I not do that? I, I kept uh, a low resolution for a long time as usual, getting the shape right as I feel it was right anyway. Um, I was going from a one particular reference image, but I had lots of uh, reference images. I'll try and remember to put that on the screen now. And uh, um, I've mimicked it uh, very closely this time. Um, I'm not, I don't usually do that, but um, I was kind of struggling with the mouse a little bit. Um, I don't know why, it just didn't look quite right. Uh, so I had to sort of get closer to the reference image to try and figure out why it wasn't working. I found fur really tough. Um, I really got to figure out their hair plug-in and things. I think that'll be much better for me uh, in the future. Um, and I did have a tiny play, but um, it's been a long time. It must be about 10 years maybe since the last time I looked at that. Maybe 10 years anyway and I didn't do it very successfully then. Uh, so it would be nice to have another look at that, but that's one of those things where you need to uh, spend a good hour on uh, messing about with and figuring out before you put it into your finished pieces, I would say. Uh, so um, maybe I'll, uh, when I figure it out, I'll do a tutorial on um, hair and particles and things. Uh, but it's something I don't do a lot of. Um, I tend to just avoid it. And um, I was struggling for a, um, a, an actual topic, and not topic, a subject uh, for the topic. Uh, this time round. Um, I wanted to do this mouse because I thought that'd be quite a cute looking image and quite nice. Uh, so um, I went for it anyway thinking I could just do the fur. It, it came out alright in the end uh, but in fact I lost a bit of the recording. I don't quite know what happened. I obviously pressed some sort of button somewhere and uh, lost a load of um, the recording and that was the bit I was really struggling so I'm kind of Weirdly, I'm kind of happy it's lost because uh, it was a bit embarrassing watching me uh, trying to get my uh, hair and fur right and just uh, what I ended up doing and someone asked me this the other day, do you ever um, just think, oh, you need to start again on this? And yes, I do, but I tend to uh, go back to my original shape by dec not decimating, but uh, lowering the resolution of the brush and then just scrubbing over things. So it's like a rubber in a way. Uh, you lower the resolution right down, make sure you've got uh, subdivide collapse on and that will collapse it back to the resolution that you've set your brush to. So if you lower the resolution right down you can just scrub over it 
and uh, get rid of any uh, details and start again, as it were. Uh, the, uh, the my, mice, uh, mice's, mice's, mouse's feet, I don't know how to pronounce uh, their feet and their hands are quite weird. Um, they're a bit like human hands, uh, more so than uh, paws on dogs and stuff like that. And I had some reference images and I just thought they looked really freaky and they weren't working, but I think they just were, they looked a bit freaky, that's all. I used a, a very simple rig to rig the hands into position. Uh, not the feet, I just positioned those, but just copied and pasted the hand. Uh, because the hand, weirdly, uh, or their uh, front legs, I should say, I think hands, um, they have four of these little fingers, and their bottom ones have five, uh, which I had to look up, obviously. Uh, so um, I just sort of copied and pasted, uh, copied and pasted, duplicated uh, the legs and put them up uh, into the arms and then rigged them and put them into position. And then I just copied that rig across to the other side uh, and then sort of re-rigged it. I always um, uh, keyframe the rig. Uh, there's sort of weird undo things, uh, glitches <laughs> in Blender 2.8 at the moment. So it's good to keyframe your uh, poses. Uh, and then you can do a couple of poses as well. I didn't this time. I just set up one quick pose. So I was <laughs> rushing a bit and running out of time. It took, um, well, the record time is just under two hours, but I, I lost that work, and that was quite a good bit of work. There's about 40 minutes there. And there was lots of faffing around, uh, testing things out, and uh, trying to uh, figure things out. So um, it must have taken uh, three, three and a half or something around there. Lo longer than I thought it would for this one. Um, the rendering took a long time as well, uh, a good sort of uh, 20 minutes to render. And uh, I kept sort of, finding these glitches and not figuring. I thought at first the render was to do with my curves because I hadn't applied them and turned them into a mesh. And that's something I hadn't done before. So I thought, oh, well, maybe it's that. But it was down to my depth of field. And I wanted a really shallow depth of field. Now I'm thinking about it. I should have just made the whole object bigger and then lowered the depth of field. I think that would have worked. So I'm assuming the depth of field works on Blender units, uh, which are meters these days, I think, in 2.8. Um, so that's frustrating. If only I, uh, maybe I'll go back and uh, do that, and then I can change my depth of field because the shallower, the the less shallow I had my depth of field, the quicker it was rendering. So uh, I think that might be uh, what my issue is. So I'm going to go back. Hopefully, it will look better, and you'll think, "What is he talking about?" Uh, but maybe it won't, and then you'll know that I'm, what the issues I'm having are. I thought for the toastal, I would do a, um, uh, a textured brush. And then I uh, upped the jitter, uh, so that spreads it all around and did uh, dots, which uh, you can just do, use a very uh, big spacing and you'll get the same thing as dots. But um, the yeah, dots works quite well and with jitter, they sort of scatter these things around. And toastals have those sort of uh, weird things on them that stick out. Uh, so that kind of worked. Uh, I'm enjoying the crease tool more and more now, uh, especially now I've uh, figured out you can uh, turn the creasing up. Uh, Master Xeon is the video I was looking at and someone's saying, well, how do you spell that? That's with an X. Uh, so like the Xeon processors, I think are like that. Uh, and Master Xeon 1001 or something like that. I can't, can't quite remember, uh, but you should be able to find him when you look up Blender and then Xeon, uh, he should be there. Uh, it, and he's done lots of hard surface modeling. So um, if you need to look that up. I'm sure most people will actually recognize the name because he's quite a uh, big person, big person, big character in uh, the Blender community, especially with his hard ops add-on, which is, uh, it sounds really good. I've never used it, uh, but I know how awkward hard surface modeling is and he seems to simplify it. Um, although JNM's fast carve looks like he's uh, getting there with his as well and his is free. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of nice. Uh, not that I'm saying people shouldn't be able to um, make plugins and uh, charge for them, that's fair enough. Um, but I'm one of those people who likes to stick with the free aspects because I know lots of people uh, can't afford these things. So I try and stick with what other people are able to afford uh, for my tutorials and things like that. I don't like going to a plugin that people can't uh, afford. Anyway, I'm rambling now. <laughs> um, I'll try not to do that too much. Uh, the whiskers uh, were a bit of a pain actually. Um, 
they, it was a big, I suppose that's where I should, use, should be using a hair plug-in and just put it on a quite low setting. But I thought just copying and pasting them quickly. But weirdly, that's, that's quite awkward, isn't it? Uh, copy and pasting and placing them in different um, areas. And then I had to convert them all to curves. So I usually you can select a whole lot of curves and then go mesh from curve, but it just wouldn't let me do that. It wouldn't let me do above three. So I had to select them three at a time, <laughs> which was annoying. Uh, so yeah, there's a few curves in here, the tail as well. I don't think I kept in any of that faffing around uh, stuff because that was a bit boring, but I did keep in the leaves at the bottom. I, th I quickly wanted to put some sort of base in there, uh, but I thought with a flat base it would just not look quite right, but I'm not sure the leaves really worked. Uh, with a better depth of field, I think they might have. Uh, so hopefully, if I figure that out uh, in the meantime, but I do need to get onto my next sculpt. I'm looking forward to the next one, which is smooth. Um, and I'm thinking of doing Michael Jackson because of Smooth Criminal uh, and one of his poses, iconic poses from there, uh, would be fun. But that's going to take me a little while because one, there's lots of uh, cloth uh, with his suit that he wears, his white suit with his hat, and also it's poses and the human figure, so that takes a little while. So I do need to get on. Uh, so whether I'll go back to this or not, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit strange because I'm talking now and then it might be there, it might not, so who knows. Oh, I did keep some of my lighting and things in. I just did a normal three-point lighting setup um, and that's a nice way of setting up your renders. Uh, slightly different colours on the lamps as well uh, because then you get different coloured shadows and it kind of... Uh, gives it a 3D element. It's a bit like uh, the old 3D glasses with different colours uh, coming out of the screen at you. Uh, if anybody's old enough to remember that, uh, then you're in my little category there. <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, so uh, HDRI in the background and then the depth of field uh, blurs the HDRI. HDRI. But um, without much of a depth of field, it didn't quite look right. And I think my rotation was a bit quick, so um, it sort of looks uh, distracting, I would say. Uh, but I, I'm happy with the, the setup generally. Um, I did two um, empties. One I have an empty to track to my camera and one I had an empty for the focus because the focus is at a different point. It's at the mouse uh, rather than at the um, mushroom. But the mushroom was right in the middle. Uh, toadstool, sorry. Uh, so the depth of field looks quite nice there in the background, I think, but it was just too high and it took, like I say, 30 seconds to render. And like I say, managed to get it down to 10. Uh, but it's still quite high when you're uh, doing these sort of videos and uh, you don't, I don't want my computer to be taken up for too much time because I want to get to the next sculpt uh, while something's rendering. So the only time I can render is um, when I'm doing it on a break or something. So um, 30 seconds uh, was scary and 10 seconds was still a bit of a pain uh, because I tend to do 250 frames of my circle. Uh, this is only 200 at the moment unless I change it. <laughs> Not making much sense. So there we go, quite pleased. Uh, it came out fairly well. Uh, could have done better with the leaves, but um, no, it's it's nice. Uh, nice render. So back to the Discord server. Um, so this is uh, Hun Apple Pie or Penk uh, Mark, Menk? I'm not sure how you pronounce your name, sorry. Uh, but I do encourage people to put their names in their posts, but then I can't pronounce them, so it doesn't really help. Uh, but some lovely work there, lovely ornaments. I like this. Oh, that's a really good one. Um, I like the texture behind that. Um, it, it's just a really nice piece there, uh, possibly my favourite. Uh, nice to see someone using the grease pencil there. Um, I'd like to have a go at that actually, it looks quite fun. Uh, some uh, uh, Manu Hu, uh, lovely work there, as usual, well done there. Uh, roof and stent, uh, nice idea. I like the way you've uh, rendered and you add your sort of reference image in there as well. So just going back through my favourites there, some really nice ones today. Uh, I like that, that's probably my particular favourite, so well done there. So uh, thank you very much for watching, thank you for all the support uh, people are giving me, that's just wonderful, and I will see you next time.